Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. This video is for Bruce in Alabama. And we have a combination of things. It's a long video. It's going to be a long one. Now, first things first, <clears throat> the TLLR module, actually first things first is what it is. Non-ASR throttle bodies from E320, TLLR module, idle speed control, and cruise control module. That's the computer. Now, <clears throat> Both throttles, they came as remanufactured, they both activate, although I do have issues with both of them. The TLLR module itself is, it was burned, <clears throat> and I do, I do have this wire over there that I put in into the, I found a broken spot, as you can see I removed burnt, burnt circuit, as you can see it's all black. On this side it's shiny because it was on the board side and this was on the outside so um, there is a um, the coating like a she lock some sort of a coating that burns right up and this line had to be removed because you don't want to have it hanging in there and fall off and short something else it's uh, whatever it is I just picked it up just to show you so it was running like that and it was burnt like in the middle right there so <coughs> A computer is repaired now before I show you the activation I want to show you the readings this is important because <clears throat> the readings um, are hard to get from these units because a second potentiometer I cannot show I have to open up the covers and obviously it's something that well I might jump them but I don't really want to it I don't want to feedback the well anyway long story short to open the cover so I can move the gear then I can show the readings first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this throttle body right here this is a core it's just the coil is dead and the wires are all shorting out but it's going to be a good example how it's more or less supposed to run as you can see wires in there they're bare but I can still <clears throat> show you certain readings because they're not as terrible as they could be so let's just move it on the side so I can show you the readings when I open the throttle plate. So here we have the throttle plate opened up. You see potentiometer R1 goes to 0 0.49 and I cl uh, close the throttle plate. It reaches back to 4.37. Um, second potentiometer, I'll just show you as a reference, but a second potentiometer is checked on this side so if I move the plate inside as you can see the reading on potentiometer R2 and R1 they're pretty close so because I'm moving potentiometers together now the plate and the gear potentiometer they both move so therefore you see the readings change and they're pretty close that's how computer tracks the throttle body plate motion now <clears throat> computer right now is in limp mode but that way i can actually show you the actual readings so that's why i ref you know i went back to the limp mode but then i reactivate it i'll show you how they activate now let's go and take a look at throttles uh the connector we're gonna connect the black cable throttle we're gonna plug it in here i'm doing it with one hand so this was kind of interesting situation because nothing really works right. One one that throttle more or less is okay. Now, once I connected the throttle body, we see the potentiometer R1 reading is 4.99. So basically it's a reference voltage, there is no change. And when I open the plate, the bottom reading does not change at all. So there's definitely a problem with this potentiometer in this throttle body. Something is going on. Uh, with that particular potentiometer, maybe wiring, maybe soldering, maybe the connector, maybe the, the pins are in the wrong locations, I don't know, but this is not a keeper. I would not keep this throttle. Again, I cannot, um, I cannot show you the second potentiometer because I have to open up the cover and there are stickers, so if I remove the sticker, warranty will be voided, so we don't want to do that, so we'll leave it alone. So as you can see, I just unplugged it. I see my readings when whatever we're plugging in a second throttle body put this one on 
and the readings as you can see 4.39 that means potentiometer starts reading and when I open the plate a reading drops, drops down to 0 0.45 um, so it is basically as close as we get to this core unit core unit potentiometer is okay the coil is bad but it's very difficult to fix the coil so therefore I never got to do this and whatever is just laying there now the as you can see this one activates this one reads so obviously if I were to choose between the two, obviously I would have chosen chosen this one versus this one because this potentiometer doesn't read, this one does. Now, the problem that I have with this unit is that when you when the unit activates, and let me just reactivate the unit. So right now, basically, I just have to reset my power, and then once I reactivate it, now you saw the tr throttle body jumped. And I have to reset the computer now. Let's see if we get the readings going. Actual values. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Okay, so actual values. I supposed to be able to change potentiometer again. Uh, the readings on R1 potentiometer because um, it should do just fine. <clears throat> and okay, so let me open it all the way. As we can see, readings change when the throttle bodies, um, when the when the plate is in closed position, uh, readings also go back to 4.48. 4, 4 so it is reading, and safety contact switched over, and that's inside the potentiometer case. So we're not gonna go there. The problem with this unit that I have, what I do not like. When the unit activates, it closes the throttle plate too much, it appears. Because it's supposed to be sort of like this. It's a very fine line, but I don't know how it's going to behave in the vehicle uh, when you install it. Because to me, it looks like they what they did is they removed the coil, but the plate was not adjusted properly. And therefore, it is off a little bit, so you might have an issue with your idle speed okay might be too low because also see usual readings that i see when throttle is active is 4.39 and we have 4.48 so maybe we'll bring it back when the engine is running i don't know you have to uh, figure out if you want to try it you can try it so if i open the plate just slightly to get it to 4.39 somewhere around that line well even 0.41 the plate is open way more like you see even though you don't really see it much but that is a big difference because it's almost closed right now so I don't know how air is going to get in you might try to work this see if it works that's great but if it doesn't then both they have to go back because that's not right um, I'm gonna try to show you the difference between two throttles activations because this one activates nice but the potentiometer doesn't read so let's just look at it this way look at the crack the opening between the plate and the case as you can see there is really no space there almost this one is not active but we do still see space so what we're gonna do is I'm going to shut down this unit as you can see space has been created and I'm going to activate this unit even though the readings don't come in it, they, the unit still activates so let me plug it in and let's just reset it as you can see when unit is active there is a more opening between the case and the actual throttle plate so this is what I usually see on these units, but again, this one, potentiometer does not show any kind of signs of life. 4.49, that's the reference voltage that it receives, and it's supposed to be about 4.39 on idle. Whereas that one shows you 4.40 something, 6.48, which is a little bit too much. And you see, this unit, actually maybe I'll get a flashlight, let's see there let's try with the flashlight so you can actually see the light 
here something of this in this nature you see the light behind shining all right so that's how much space we have between the case and the plate let's activate the second throttle so you see the difference there's less space and the readings are off slightly so um, again it might work okay but I just don't do it that way if I get to the coil I don't work it like that as you can see in this case we barely have any light coming through see there is a little bit of light yes but on the other throttle there was more light coming through because plate was open at higher angle it was more opening there's more space so obviously more space more air more air um, you know more air than higher the idle speed okay so that is where I stand with this particular situation okay 4.48 reading as you can see quite high you know it usually supposed to be about if I'm gonna unplug it right plug it back in real quick it's going to be see the readings will change that's about where it's supposed to be really like 4.39 and that's the normal opening that you see you see there is more light coming through that is but the, the unit is off now so this is an off state which isn't right so when it activates again it closes more usually the non-ASR units they twitch to close and then they open the same way as they were before being energized so the opening stays about the same and then it adjusts whenever it needs to adjust so I don't know you can try this um, but I don't really like it and again even with the crappy unit like this uh, this has been laying around with shorting wires and even some overspray of paint or whatever maybe I'll get to it one day and I fix the coil but it's extremely difficult to get to coil because you have to realign it properly and to realign it it's a big job because it's super fine alignment this thing doesn't do it this is just a stopper you have to make sure that well at least by the way I do it okay maybe some other people do it differently maybe they know something I don't know but um, that's how I do my units I don't really do many of these coils because again it's very time consuming process and again we connected this unit you see it's not energized so the readings there at 4.37 so 0 0.37 0 0.39 4 .37 or 4.39 this is about where they usually are this one is a 4.48 which is a little bit too high to my liking okay so I think we have to wrap this up because it's a very long annoying video I know but this came this is like combination of problems here and somehow they have to be all diagnosed so far I can say is that the module is operational it's been running for a little bit I keep checking the temperature on transistors nothing seemed to be overheating and the wire was attached I put some hot glue so the wire is not moving around when the engine when the car is running over bumps and whatnot and the only thing left is just to put the cover back on and be done with it so so far so good with the module throttle bodies we covered and I think you mentioned you had three of them so maybe it would be I mean if you want to try this one that's fine this one right here you might try it but most likely something's gonna be wrong because potentiometer reading isn't coming and also as you can see the wiring loom over here has different sheeting this is original sheeting so I don't know what exactly was done here because usually you replace the sheeting along with wires to feed new wires through this one it is possible but it is so much work I would never do that okay I would just put my own sheeting so uh, the connector itself seemed to be opened up you see 
So I think they went in there, but again, I don't want you to lose your warranty. I'm not gonna go in them. So that's my take on two units. At first I was gonna say this one is to keep, that one to send back because of the plate angle. But now, because the potentiometer isn't reading, this one is probably gonna be worse scenario. If this one gives you low idle, lower than usual idle, then this one has to go back as well. And of course, cruise control activation. You have to check that. Okay, so I think this covers it. And um, basically, all is on point. Okay, so this is all for now. This is again, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. Just uh, tested all these three units, repaired TLLR module, and showed readings on potentiometers and throttles that were rebuilt. They came in remanufactured, and this is what we get with remanufactured units. All right, this is all. Thanks for watching.